What's going on guys? Brandon here coming at you another video today. Decided to put out some infected gameplay. It's been a while since I put any on my channel. It sounded like fun last night. I got a few okay matches, a couple mercilesses. Infected on this game is so much more difficult than any other one like Ghosts or MW3. I actually have gotten chem strikes on Ghosts and on this one not even close to the nuclear. The best I ever did was 19 kills in a row and it was actually on Prison Break. Prison Break? <laughs> Riot? I'm thinking that I have ghosts in my head but yeah Riot with the M1 and I got 19 kills in a row. I went on a decent run me and this dude were just chilling back in the corner holding them off pretty well and then he ended up dying and that was the end of that. Once you get swarmed on this game and you're like the last couple guys alive you're pretty much screwed it doesn't even matter what gun you have I've seen guys get DNA bombs legit in a couple matches that I've been in playing infected but there was like three of them four of them hold down an area and just the one guy ended up getting most of the kills but here is a new glitch spot I wanted to show you guys I wanted to show it off just for the simple fact to show that People will do whatever they gotta do, and it's ridiculous, and the other reason I wanted to show it is so that you guys know how to kill him if you get into a match, and he's up in this spot on Ascend, because glitching out of the map to get DNA bombs is just not cool in my opinion at all. It's cheating. It's straight up cheating. I will report people for that crap. I don't care if I sound like a douche or not. I think it's stupid. It needs to be out of the game. It completely ruins infected like for a while there infected as a whole was just getting ruined because there were so many glitch spots on so many maps that that's all people were doing like I swear there's these infected dudes they weren't even trying to kill the on the uninfected because they were trying to get up into this glitch spot and it's like wow I just run around with my knife doing nothing for an entire match because everybody's just trying to get up into a glitch spot that's when I knew it was getting really bad and I couldn't wait for the patch to come out. Luckily, ever since that patch came out, I haven't seen a problem with any glitch spots except for that one. That's the first one that I've seen since then and I'm sure they'll get on top of that one right away too. Especially because people will show it on YouTube just like I am, but they'll be showing you how to get into it. I have no clue how to get into it, nor do I want to know. I just wanted to show it off so you guys know how to kill him if he does happen to get up there when you're playing. I really wish I would have had my mic on right here because I squealed like a little girl when that dude got up in my face. It scared the shit out of me. I had no idea or was I expecting him to be there at all. Like I was going to go chill in there because that's sometimes a good spot to get a few kills before it really starts getting hectic. And yeah, he scared the bejesus out of me. Squealed like a little girl. Wish I would have had my mic on, but I didn't, so oh well. This right here wasn't a very impressive run at all that I went on, but I just had to show a couple of the close calls, and at the very end, how you cannot rely on your teammates and infected, because there was two of them sitting up on the chopper in the back of the map. I know they seen me bringing in the infected, and they did not shoot one freaking bullet. They just let me get knifed in the face. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. They really need to put in some better weapons on Infected for this game, though, because, yeah, they threw a bunch of new weapons in, but most of them are garbage. Like, the AMR-9, I never do that well with. The MK-14 is horrible. The EM-1 is pretty good, but you're just slow as hell with it. So, basically, once it gets down to a few people, like I was saying before, you're basically screwed because it's either going to overheat when you, and you're just going to get overrun. The SN6 is really not that bad at all, but I still haven't gone on a great run with it because I just haven't. I don't have an explanation for you, but other than that, they're really, like the Bulldog, the TAC-19 is pretty decent because that has pretty solid range now for one-shot kills, but I just wish that they would throw in, like, an assault rifle, you know, or the ASM-1 because... It's so much more difficult to play Infected on this game because of the movement in the exosuits that 
you gotta have a better weapon. Those spike drones are freaking huge. They're like the size of your head. And somehow, some way, it seems like they get you with them. Or the knives are retarded. And if they knife the air, they somehow kill you. I don't understand it. Elite Shot, one of the YouTubers that I watch, he complains about it all the time. And in infected in this game. He actually went back to play older ones just because it was funner because you could go farther you could last longer it's not fun you know to get one or two three kills and then die most matches and then just have those matches here or there he's a lot better obviously than I am at infected and Call of Duty as a whole but even he was complaining about it so you know there's something wrong if somebody that's as good as him is complaining but if any of you guys have went on solid runs let me know in the comments below, what's the farthest you've made it and infected? Mine, I said before, is 19. That's the longest run I've ever went on without dying, or becoming infected, I should say. But let me know what your guys' is. Check this kill out at the very end right here. Couldn't believe I hit it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.